Welcome back, MTG Joe here. Uh, M21 is officially released. Uh, we played a bunch of fun decks during the early streamer event. I did uh, about eight hours of streams that day, so if you want to check out anything we played, it's all up on YouTube right now. Um, so we're going to continue to go through a bunch of decks that I hadn't had a chance to play yet, um, and we'll focus on Standard right now, and then we'll move into Historic afterwards. Um, I am top 1200 right now for Mythic, and there's only a couple days left in the month, so I'm going to be a little selective with the decks we play right now. So if it's a brew, then we'll just play off uh, ranked right now until the season resets, and then we can go from there. I want to try to get top 1200 this month. Um, so what we have here is an Is It Spell Slinger, so a blue-red kind of uh, cast your spells for uh, making big creatures kind of effect. Um, and the new card we're testing out in here is Stormwing Entity. So it's a 5-mana 3-3, three, three, but in reality, if we cast a spell, uh, an instant or sorcery that turn, it only costs 2 mana for a 3-3, three, three, and when it enters the battlefield, it scries 2. It also has Flying and Prowess. Prowess, for those who aren't familiar, whenever you cast an instant and sorcery, it gets plus 1-1 one, one till the end of turn. Um, so what we're trying to do is really um, maximize the number of 1-drops we have in the deck. Uh, we have... Uh, Sprite Dragon, Doret, Perfect Pet. So whenever you cast a non-creature spell, put a counter on it. Uh, we have Dreadhorde Arcanist that lets you cast stuff from the graveyard as well. Uh, Instants and Sorceries, we have a number of ways to give it haste as well. Um, and then kind of a cool effect is with uh, Dreadhorde Arcanist, when it attacks, if it's got two power, uh, you can use See the Truths from your graveyard and then put three cards into your hand. So it's a cool little interaction there. Um, Playing a couple Patera, uh, Terramanders, not Pteramander, Terramanders. I uh, just wanted to have uh, a somewhat density of creatures. Um, and then really what we're just playing is a bunch of cheap spells. Opt and Crash Through both draw cards. This also gives Trample if you have a big body. Uh, Infuriate pumps up our team. Shamud Sprint pumps up and gives haste. So you can haste out a Dread Horde or Stormwing Entity. And then some Shocks just as removal. Uh, pretty basics for the land. I don't want um, Fabled Passage because this at least hits both our colors. Passage is a little slow if you have it as one of your first four lands, or first three lands. And then sideboard wise, uh, Lanterns, Gus, a uh, mix of Blitz and Dragonfire as additional removal. We want to take down like Narset and stuff, or Teferi. Uh, some Brazen Borrowers for like the team or rec match, or kind of when we want to play at a tempo y style game and then four mystical disputes when we need counters um so i'm gonna test this out i saw the original kind of shell from danny t law i think his name is on twitter um another streamer so i want to try it out so we're in the 800 so i'm gonna play just um off rank right now we'll give this a shot uh i only played one game with this leading up so see how it fares if it's good then we'll uh, take it to the ladder uh, in a couple days um, but uh, let me know in the chat uh, or on um, YouTube, sorry, brain fart, uh, what decks you've been playing, what you've been liking thus far, and uh, if you have any cool brews, uh, send them my way. Hey, Master Chief. Uh, awesome. Are you doing Izzadra 2 or Teamer? Like, is it my exact list? Jund, I haven't been able to play more because I crack like a hundred packs and I still haven't hit um, what's its name uh, any of the terror of the peaks are you finding in the Jun terror is still worthwhile or um, have you moved away from it it was kind of like the fringe card I threw it in there just to test during early streamer event I really like Liliana I put it into my um, my thing deck um, my historic decks Okay, so this looks like blue tempo. I think based on this, I'm just going to do this this turn. I want to hit another threat. Lofty denial. That's fine. So this uh, adapts if we get more spells in the graveyard. In case they flash something in. just set up so we have an infuriate and some much sprint so we have dorat for next turn Let's try to get that pretty big Let's 
Yeah, that might not be the best deck for Liliana. Um, I've liked her just as another way in Historic to attack your opponent's hand. Um, but I'm usually playing kind of more grindy decks. So I'll try to force this next turn. Playing against Mono Blue. We don't have much removal main board, which is a little bit of the issue. Let's see if this resolves. And they could also bounce this at any time. That's gross. See if they throw the block here. It was really good for me during um, the streamer event. I played more of it offline, and I was just kept like drawing the wrong half. I think you. I tried doing three to fairies, three Uros, but the life gain from Uros, pretty impactful. I just kept running into like consistent Ugin decks that just wiped everything. So we have five here. I can adapt this the following turn. They are going to start drawing cards, which is a bit of an issue. And they're winning on the race. It's not bad. So it's five it's eight so if i shock in i can adapt so we didn't get brazen boar hey jetty mike it's going well how about yourself i didn't get paper pre-release um i did do like online i usually just order the cards online for now so so much sprint might let us Sneak through this uh, Terramander. Adapt now. Ah, that's annoying. That's like one of the main reasons I don't play Bant. It just takes forever to actually play. Um, I think we just do this. Try to find like a shock. So I can cast See the Truth here. I get to put three cards into my hand. This is going to die anyways. And then what we'll do is play this out and then shock to get a counter on it so that's kind of like the combo that you do you haste you can either haste this out or give it a pump spell and then you cast see the truce from your graveyard um they have brazen don't love giving them a card there but our hands kind of lacking action The deck that is actually pretty fun, I don't know if you've seen it, it's the um, the Vito Citadel deck. Where is it? Uh, you basically chain together. I'm going to play this one on stream next. We're dead here. In this matchup, it's a little tough because we're kind of all in on these threats that can easily be bounced. And 
and then they have counter spells to disrupt with like brazen borrowers as well um you usually just play veto off the top with citadel so let's block like this they like most likely have a counter but we're dead anyways uh, most of the time you just like ramp up you get citadel down by like turn four five or six depending on how your hand shapes up and then you just play lands game life and kind of go off i think it might be better in best of one um it's pretty easy they tails end to not put the counter on Weird that they throw away the counter spell there. So they're playing Tails and Whirlwinds, Denial, and just a whole bunch of counters. Usually, like I played like I played one ranked game with it, and then I played a couple like unranked. And uh, post board against like either aggressive decks or decks with a lot of interaction, um, like that sweep your board. I just shift out the um, the citadels and I bring in like questing beast and uh, what's his face, um, ceratops. So you kind of attack them at a different angle. Okay, down to one life. Opponent can draw cards. Seen two of our shocks. Yep. All right. Let's see post board with some removal. How it does. So brazens disputes. Bring in all the removal. Um. Probably gonna get rid of the infuriates. See the truth's also probably too slow in this matchup. Stormwing's fine. Like it does get clipped by dispute, but do we want the sp Sprints, maybe trim a sprint, trim an arcanist. Arcanist gets bounced pretty easy in this matchup. It also gets stonewalled. Um, I'm assuming they're playing uh, Cutthroat. Keep this hand. Um, okay. We'll take those, but opponent must have had to go. Life came up. Let's run this again. It's probably pretty good. Like I played against, um, like when I was practicing, or practicing, running the deck to see if it was uh, reasonable against uh, Mono Green Ugin. Like I hit him on turn four for 16 or something like that between um, Pump Spells, Sprite Dragon, and uh, Storm Wing with Haste. Already kind of no luck, no no playing first. Need a haircut real bad. <laughs> Gotta wear my hats now. See, I actually haven't played um I haven't played Team Rec and I haven't played the new Did I play the band? Okay. 
kind of holding out. Like I want to. I've never grown my hair long, so I'm work from home till minimum September. So figure now's my chance. Teamerek got. What did Teamerek get? Um, the two mana hexproof indestructible spell out of the sideboard. Uh, what's its name? Um, New Teferi is pretty good as well. What's the opponent doing? Okay, that's all right. Is this us or them? Oh, that's all right. Rena's being weird. Um, that Jal Reel you're seeing play in like um, Bant, they'll play two Jal Reels just to make tokens. Hey Quantum, going well, how about yourself? Testing out some it? Yeah, she's pretty sweet, like just rewarding you for kind of playing a progressive game plan and there's just so many things that trigger her like curving her into Uro is nice might do like a simic -y tempo ew cool um I think we put the temple back, play crash through on one, dreadhorde on two. Opponent lied to us. They are gruel sleeves. Might be jund. Some sort of sack deck most likely. So next turn I can go Dorat, crash through, attack, cast, cash, crash through. Um, hasn't been bad. Um, so I can do this. I could Stormwing this turn. Okay, so I do this. Cast this. Just want spells at this point. Um, this is the first game we've cast Stormwing uh, on the stream. When I played offline, it was really good. Like this is a turn three for three three with haste or three three with uh, prowess flying. They have a sack effect. They don't have another target for claim. In case they have something, I just don't want to chance it. So I do this. Yeah, it's unfortunate they printed ECD and then it just made uh, Niv useless. That early Ravnica Jeskai control deck with Niv where you drop a Niv and you feel unbeatable was one of my favorite decks. They have four volts. I think we can still attack through this. Okay, so it's I'm gonna play this first just to see what we get off the top. And 
That's an instant as well, which is nice. We are one land away from playing. So either one they attack, I'm just going to Samut Sprint. And then they have Trample as well because of Crash Through. So the often forgotten about text opponent opponent all right stormwing's entity felt sweet there um jun food so we want the exile effects we want the graveyard effects do i want gusts probably not um what are we cutting They have claims, which are a little concerning. I'm going to cut See the Truths on the play. Probably Terramander, just because it dies to... Like, everything else will pretty much have more toughness. Yeah, when these Izzet decks get off, like, go off, they're really fun. And then, like, having another good threat because like sprite dragon's good but we only had that and then when we're able to pair it with like a good effect yeah we're gonna keep this probably crash through on one arcanist on two and then play lantern afterwards depending how what we draw i might prioritize playing this on three so I could somewhat sprint it. Yeah, intervention's great. Um, even when like last standard was around, last time it was in standard, it was a pretty obnoxious card. So based on this, I think what we do this turn, I'm going to do this. This does target our graveyard, but... I can kind of control them here. I just want to get the cat out of the way here. They do have the ramp. I don't have both. This is infuriate. I have just like a bunch of pump spells. I have cinder vines. Nervines is kind of annoying. Um, so I could s do this, scry one. I think we wait till next turn. Yeah, let's just wait till next turn. A little awkward, but I want to get this out and then haste it. Okay, priest. Shock's good. So this lets me do this. Like, we take this ping damage. Yeah, they reprinted Shock with the, like, um, Corset 10 art, I think. But I have the full art for this, so. And then 
here. Let's just take them off this. They're struggling on mana. I think we just do this for the turn. It sets up our scries. So we're going to take the opt here. Because next turn I can go Arcanist, give it haste, infuriate, and then cast both of them. So we would have infuriated and then cast some wood sprint from the graveyard and infuriate from the graveyard and then hit him up. So taking down Jund, pretty impressive. Like I know they stumbled on Lions game two. Let's run this one one more. I'll probably end up doing slightly shorter videos um, initially and then um, We'll queue it up for uh, longer ones once the meta kind of settles. I want to just get through more of a volume of decks right now. And then once the season restarts as well, I'm just trying to hold top 1200 Mythic right now. Um... Let's try it. We're on the draw. We have Opts. This can be the um, the scales deck. No, Gruel. Gruel Adventures. Oh, we're playing Mono Ops. I'm probably just gonna trade with this Rimrock here. Because next turn I can play opt take the trade there Is it too slow here to draw all our red cards. I don't feel too good about this one. Can hit us for eight. Is it generally has a hard time, at least game one against like these bigger chunky decks? So I think think what we do just bring in like the bounce and the removal um, arcanist and see the truth could come out probably still think we probably want so like I said bring in the removal See the truth, Arcanist out, and probably an Infuriate. Or, nah, take out the Inf. Yay, crash through. Let's get rid of some Mud Sprint. Everything else at least helps us to trade. Rion GW, thanks for the follow. I'm gonna start with the temple here. I'm gonna keep the land. I wanna prioritize getting this going. Okay. 
And they had Bone Crusher there. They just have like another Bone Crusher here. Ah, that's annoying. Double Bone Crusher against us. Do we want the Blitz? Probably. So this turn... They play that out. We'll hit this. Got a Fitbit for my birthday and it keeps telling me to stop being a slob, get up and move. So let's see what they do here. Take two here, but I'd like to draw another land so I can two spell them. I might just ride this uh, little Terramander to victory if we could tempo them enough. So kill this. Two damage is less. Also want to try to keep him off Ember Cleave. So you're three. So I can't blitz it this turn. Going haste here. My guess is oh, they got cleave too. Yikes. So that's eight, nine, ten. Okay, that actually works out pretty well. I blitz here, bounce this, well, we weren't going to beat that. If they drew Hasty Boy off the top, we weren't going to come back. So Gruel's a problem, something to note there. Yeah, it turns out our deck with like one ones. We played to like the out there. And we did have a lot of our removal. Might want to add some more on the side removal wise. Okay. This hand seems decent. Cast this next turn, so let's sprint this, cast this. I think we have a reader.
I would love three cards. Ancestral Recall. So I'm going to do this. If they want to trade, they can. And then I'm going to Stormwing Entity. And then next turn, I have another one of these and we can kind of go off. They can Questing Beast this turn, hit us for 8. 15. Can we kill them? This lets us see the most cards. a turn too short. Nine, twelve. Technically not dead, but Pretty much dead, I'm assuming we're getting cleaved here. Mana base was a little painful that game, but I don't think it makes much of a difference if they had cleave. Same board plans last time. Arcanist, see the truths out. One Samut Sprint. If any of those, like if that opt had been a pump spell, we would have been okay. Just looking for something there. The game audio has been weird. It's been like cutting in and out. Doing this proactively, if they have a turn one play, I can shock it. So the question is, Do I play around Bone Crusher? I think we do. We're gonna let them react. Pelty here. Right, they had a dragon fire. Hmm. It's a threat. So because of this, I'm gonna dragon fire. I 
right, so Gruel's a tough deck for this one. And two of our four games have been Gruel. Let me fix this sideboard a bit. If we're running into more creature matchups. Run it like that. Another Aether Gust. Uh, oh, nope, nope. I don't want to do best of one. So now they changed it to instead of defaulting to Sparky, it takes us to best of one. So next video will be Vito Golgari Citadel, then I was working on uh, blue-white uh, enter the battlefield like blink creatures. Um, and then I have black-white. Yeah, some of the lists had octopus in it. Um, you don't have a lot of one-drops, so maybe instead of Terramander we can try that. Actually, let's try that out. I'm just gonna cut out of this one. Let's try out the octopus, see if it's any better. Since we're in the testing stage anyways. Because I don't think we generate enough lands for Spectral Sailor to really matter. And then get the... Maybe we keep Terramander. Trim along the edges like that. Let's try that out. Good call there. Um, I saw a list, like Untapped posted a list. Um, they were playing four Stone Coil Serpents. They were more creature dense though. Which I don't think you want to be if you're, um, like to get Stormwing out on turn 3, you want a pretty high density of 1 drop spells. Yeah, and the thing is a lot of our, like, cantrips just replace themselves, but they don't get us net ahead on cards. Yikes. If you're not a land, get out of my way. Having the shocks decent. Okay, so they have trail. It's a food deck again. You really want to prioritize killing goose when trail of crumbs is out. That's actually an interesting decision to do that. Untapped red source. Untapped red source. Or really any land. Any untapped land lets me cast one of my two drops and kill something. Who would have thought a cat player would be slow? The client's been... I don't know if uh, you folks were getting the black screen in between every match yesterday. Or just the client not loading after the update.
I'm just gonna do this. I think they got disconnected here. Happened to us earlier in the stream. Let me play my pet. We could actually try it out, see how it works. This actually on Sprite Dragon is pretty nice because you get the counters. So, same idea. Give us a land so we can do something. Big opponent's DQ'd here. Just give him a chance. Scavenging ooze is the big thing that's gonna, I think, eat these decks. Because the biggest issue with Cat was they bring it back in response, but with Ooze, you usually just like respond to it, respond to it, respond to it. Like, even just seeing like Uro and stuff, but like Uro at least nets you value. I turned forward Ugin's people a couple times yesterday, it felt nice. Okay, that one didn't count. We'll take it just to get our coins. Let's run one more. The nice thing is with this deck, win or lose, you're usually done by turn four or five. Darkest hour. Keep this. Speaking of ooze, this could be green white counters, could be the Bant. Yeah, it's Bant fun in games. We need a blue source. The way our hand's shaping out. Actually, I don't think I wanted that. I know my responsibility. I've got time. We got Scoos. We need to take the ferry off the battlefield. So let's make us figure out our turn here. They dove in veto my opt. It's a very aggressive line. This is hardly my worst defeat. We're not going to be able to uh, really cast stuff from the graveyard this game. Do the these lists still play shatter, right? Eh? CD. I think I hold back one. just in case like if they shatter here i don't feel great it also lets me pressure to fairy okay opponents eats that fairy 
where he bounces this. Interesting the way they tapped. They can't eat that much. So poke taff. Actually, I shouldn't have done that, because they get it back anyways, and all they had in their graveyard was that. Can they escape Uro? They need one card to escape Uro. Okay, so they're escaping Uro. Annoying. Still win if I can chain together because we have these two. If I can get like an opt or something. How about a land? A second had to realize what my life total was at. Not quite dead, but basically dead. The Teferi bounces were pretty bad. mana, seven mana right now, eight mana. Oh no! Why did I think it was like adventure? Okay, so these dread hordes. I don't think we win anyways from there. Because I only hit them for. Four. Sorry, three, four, five. So even Shock wouldn't have done it off the draw. So I'm going to get rid of the Sea of the Truths in this matchup. They're a little slow. Get rid of the Arcanist. Trim down one of these. Bring the Dragon Fires in. I think we get rid of Infuriate. Okay, I gotta pay attention next time. Why do they template it that uh, adventure is one way, mutates the other way? Goes to show how much mutate I've actually played. I think we're okay here. Taking the lands. This is really bad against Teferi, because Teferi stops you from being able to do the thing. So let's opt here. So I still 
forgot to cast the opt. I think we keep this on top. Really just want to dodge this a hole. Sorry, I'm late. Don't Make worry. Plus. I got Deals combat damage to a player. Not doing it because the fairy is a fun interactive magic card. We can't hold up this Aether Gust anyways. I think we want some action here. So chances are they bounce this with the Teferi. Or they just shatter. Surprised they didn't do it at instant speed. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. I'm gonna do this. If they want to bounce this, they lose their Teferi. If you wish to surrender, I think this deck only plays one Narset now, and they drew into the casket. Okay. This is, uh. Bant's not a fun deck to play against with this deck. So overall, like. It had some merits. It was okay. It wasn't anything to write home about. When it went off, it went off, but oftentimes felt a couple turns too slow. Maybe you do want the stone coils in here. Works better with Sea Dasher. So maybe do. Now, a crash through is probably needed. Play three of these. And then play Stone Coil. Probably run it like that, all things considered. Because that would help with the Gruel matchup. It lets you, it gives you play if you Flood. It's pro Teferi, which doesn't get bounced, which seems like a lot of our deck gets bounced by Teferi. Yeah, probably try it out like that. And then 22 lands should be enough for this configuration. All right, cool. So I'm going to wrap this one up. I'm going to go eat some dinner. Um, I'll be back on the weekend. We'll play a couple decks. Like I said, we have the blue-white blink deck um, that I've been testing out. Then I got the... This deck's really fun. The Golgari... Uh, Vito Citadel, play all the lands and burn them out with Dread Presence. So we got some decks. Uh, if you are into historic content, just posted an update. So I had the Rakdos Obliterator deck that I've been playing a lot. It's gotten me to top 1200 Mythic thus far. So I've been testing out a uh, black splash white, if you may, black white uh, Obliterator deck. So one to know with this one so far, obviously small sample size, 19 and nine with this one. Uh, this one I'm 7-0 against Gruul, so if you want to beat Gruul, this deck's pretty good. So some updates from the new set, Mastermind's Tome, Liliana in here, um, and then Grasp of Darkness, as well as one of the big cards in the side is Necromentia uh, to get Nexus of Fate, which was the hardest matchup for us. Um, so lots of good decks coming through on the weekend. Um, I put out 7 or 8 videos already of the new set from the early pre-release. Um, so if you do want to catch a bunch of content, we played a bunch of decks, you can catch it all on my YouTube channel, MTG underscore Joe. Otherwise, catch you on the weekend. Stay safe, everyone, and have a great one. Thanks for stopping by.